guys this is donzia welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to set up your gt bank mobile app application which is gt world so in this video please watch it to the end you are going to learn everything without no further delay let's dive into the video once you download your app from app store or play store depending on the kind of phone you are using you are going to start things and click on skip once you click on skip you are going to get to the next page that says you should enter the phone number that was used during your bank account opening so you are going to enter the phone number that was linked to your bank account that you are receiving alerts on so once you enter the phone number an otp code will be sent to the phone number so once you receive the otp code you have to enter the otp code and then provided your nin you must have your bvn with you so it's your bvn you are going to use as the second security features to enter the to start the mobile application so once you have your bvn with you also you are going to ent enter your BVN to this place. After entering your BVN, going to display a password place like this. That you should enter your password. So then enter your password. So once you enter your password, it's going to successfully log in you to the home page of the mobile application. So every phone nowadays have mobile biometrics. So enable the mobile biometrics for easy login. So once you login to the mobile app application this is what you are going to see then click on the three dots right here and click on next or cancel then click on the three dots right here you are going to notice that your banking account is at is at tier three the tier three means that you can receive the de unlimited deposit and you can have unlimited bank balance so after seeing there you are going to see all your details here your full name your phone number your email address then if you scroll down a little you are going to see use fingerprint id for transaction once you already use fingerprint id for login you can click on this one to accept it. then enter your transactional pin your transactional pin don't worry you are going to create it as you are logging into the application because i've already created this account i've already signed up and that's why it's not bringing the whole process and if it asks you for a secret id is uh, a c um, if it asks you for secret answer secret answer so just know that your secret answer is known you have not done a secret answer before so you just create a new secret answer and then you proceed not that you are going to answer just create a new secret answer and proceed it's not actually that a little so if you find this video helpful don't forget to share like and comment and subscribe see you in the next video peace out